Bez on Flooded Valley, baby. This is one of the most fun runs I've ever come up with, and the whole reason it works is because Pod and Azili have a great synergy together, because at level 11, she gives Pod an extra 50% pierce on the Undead Balloons, and that, in accordance with Bads, lets us carry all the way to Bez and then just destroy the final few rounds of the game. So let's jump into this guide. Start with a sub in that bottom corner. This is the regular start on Flooded Valley. It's pretty simple. All you have to do is slow it down when you're close to affording your second sub and then just place it top side to catch those stray balloons at the end of round six and just beat the round. And now we can save up all the way to Azili because the double sub start is quite strong on Flooded Valley. You can actually save up all the way to Sai with this start and he costs over a thousand dollars but Azealia is super cheap and that's actually going to be very useful for us, as you'll see by round 40. I want to shout out Joss, she knows who she is. She's been helping me a lot lately with my thumbnail, so thank you. I know it's against your will, but it's much appreciated. At the end of round 9, get Azealia near the top there. It doesn't really matter where you place her, as long as she can see the track. Set her to strong, because Azealia should mostly be set to strong. Remember, don't use code on Wii in the BT6 shop. Use code Dario instead, because he has strep throat right now, and he needs to pay his medical bills. Get twin guns on that bottom sub at the start of round 12, and if you haven't already, turn on auto start, because this early is super, super easy. Honestly, this entire run is super, super easy, except like two rounds, so... Yeah, after you get twin guns, get a sniper on that top rock. Set it to strong during 14. Then give it full metal jacket before 15. Then get airburst at the start of 19. And then work your way up to Shrapnel Shot on the Sniper. Get Shrapnel before 22, really. Then get Advanced Intel on that bottom sub. And then buy a boat right there. The range marker you want to look at is the top left should go through where the light and dark part of that rock touch. So right there as you can see and then start upgrading that boat to a 220. Upgrade that bottom sub to triple guns after 33. And then start upgrading your top sub to a 011. So get twin guns first, then get barbed out second. Make sure you do this before 36 or you'll lose. And now it's super chill, we just save up for destroyer. Get destroyer mid 37. Or at the end, doesn't matter. And then it's chill again. Just make sure you turn off auto start during 39. Get AP darts at the end of 39. And 40, there is a tiny, tiny chance that you lose. I've done the run probably seven times, seven, eight times, and I lost once. So it's probably about a 10, 15% chance you lose to 40. Leave auto start off, by the way, just for these next five or so rounds. Just makes it easier. At the end of 44, get a village right about there. And give it the discount upgrades. The discount upgrades. 
the discount upgrades. Yep, the discount upgrades. And then get a wizard about there so that the top of its range sees above that panel on the damn wall. And then just upgrade it to a 203 shimmer. You don't have to place your village that low, by the way. You can place it a bit higher. That's fine. Get Necromancer at the end of 45. And now you can turn auto start on because, yeah, Necromancer's good. After you get your Necromancer, get an Alk in discount range, of course, right next to your Necromancer, and then just upgrade it to a 300. And now it's completely AFK till we can afford Pod. So I'll be back when we have to do that. Don't buy anything else from this point on because we want to get Pod mid 61. So make sure you don't spend any extra money for now. For round 60, hex the BFB because you will actually die to it if you don't. And then for 61, buy pod as soon as possible mid round. And yeah, it's super easy now. After that, upgrade your ALK to A320 just for some RNG prevention on 63. So I just want to preface the rest of this guide by saying we're using pod and that's kind of an RNG based tower because it sends out necro balloons in kind of a random fashion. So if you lose to something random, just know it's because of pod. So if that turns you off, if you're not really a big fan of RNG in that manner, then don't follow this guide. There's plenty of other guides that have less pod RNG, like my big bird pod guide. Turn off auto start during 74, and then at the end of the round, get your second village right about there so that that bottom right rock is in range of that village. Give it the discount upgrades and then buy your Dartling Gunner and place it as top right as possible on that rock. Essentially, we're trying to minimize the amount of red that's on the screen right there. So try and minimize that. Upgrade it to a 204 BADS. Set it to target independent, and then upgrade your right village to jungle drums mid-75. At the end of 75, get an ALK right there. Upgrade it to 300. It should be in double discount range, no problem. Then upgrade it to 320 at the end of 76. At the end of 77, get a second ALK. Right about there, making sure no other towers but the Alk to its left and the Bads are in range of it. And then upgrade it to you know, 200 AMD. It should be in double discount range. And after you've done that, it's completely AFK until 85. This is the setup that's going to let us afford Bears. So I'll see you during 85. Turn off auto start during 84 and then during 85 use Moab Hex immediately. You want to do this as fast as possible because it makes the next few rounds easier.
87, same as 85, use hex immediately. And here's 88. This is the hardest round of the run. What I recommend you do is take it slow, set a zero to first, and then use hex immediately off cooldown. And you should be good. Set a zero back to strong at the end of 88. And if you beat 88, then you've pretty much won. Use Hex when you see his OMG from the top on 92. Ninety four is when we're going to afford Bez, so all you need to do is take it slow, use Hex immediately, and then just keep it on slow for now and buy Bez as soon as you possibly can. It's really important that you take it slow and buy it ASAP, it helps to reduce any chance of losing. And yeah, once you have Bez, obviously it's over. Upgrade that left alc that's on your Bez to a 420. And then upgrade that bottom right alc to a 230 mid 95, so unstable concoction. Get your top elk to a 420 as well, mid 96. And then just start upgrading your left village to a mid because obviously Bez needs a mid. It kind of sucks against DDTs without it, so. 98 yeah, really simple. Hex when you see ZOMG, and Bez just cooks because, you know, Bez is kind of busted. Get your MIB for 499 because obviously we need it. At the end of 99, buy as easily as level 20. Then just use Hex at the start of the round. And it's Jova. Get your crappy Insta. And yeah, super easy strat. Really, really fun too. It is a bit of RNG, but I mean, that's just pod, so. Yeah, it's unfortunate, but that's just the reality of this tower. Yeah, Bez is completely busted. 